to back it up, sports fans. You don't want to be that close to me. What we're going to do is go through the teams right now that could potentially be telling the coaches, hey, go. We're going to start with those guys that are for sure going to get fired this year and one guy that probably wants to be fired this year. That guy is Hugh Jackson with the Cleveland Browns. And why wouldn't you want to be fired considering how bad the team is, how bad the ownership is, and how bad the front office is? Not to mention that you're going to be dealing with the city of Cleveland. So the only people that want to be in Cleveland are the ones that play with or work for or work with LeBron James. So I understand why he wants to be fired and why he will be fired. Next we get, and by the way, I'm looking up at all the teams up there so I don't miss any. Next we get to the Bengals, the Bungles. And again, this is something that we've talked about almost every year. Will Marvin Lewis be fired? Well, this year you don't have to fire him. His contract is up, so he'll probably just be let go. But he gone. Next we get to the Colts and, and uh, Chuck Pagano. Got an extension along with the GM. He gone already. Pagano's next. Andrew Luck probably wants to do nothing with this organization anyways. But at least if you clean house as far as those guys are concerned, maybe you can have a fresh start with somebody he actually likes. Maybe Harbaugh. Next we get to uh, Vance Joseph and the Broncos. Okay, it hasn't worked out great. Vance Joseph has been on a roller coaster ride that's been derailed a couple of times. Started off good. Now they stink. And here's the thing about Vance Joseph John Elway hired him. And John Elway likes to believe that he can be farther than anyone. So if he fires Vance Joseph, it shows that he can't be farther than anyone. And he might have messed up, just like he messed up with some other deals in regards to the quarterback. So. If you want to make the right decision, you probably get rid of Vance Joseph. He doesn't look very comfortable in the role, but they probably won't. Next, we move on down to the New York Football Jets. And they might be in the wildcard contention throughout the rest of the season, but at the end of the day, they aren't any better than they were with Rex Ryan. You fired Rex, you should probably fire Todd Bowles. Now we move on to uh, Adam Gase. And the Dolphins have been terrible, but they lost their quarterback, so I'm not going to hold it against Gase. He probably gets to stay as the Dolphins head coach. How about the job that Andy Reid's been doing this year. He's given up play calling abilities, but I just don't think that they're going to move on. He has too much credibility and it's just one down year. And they still might make the playoffs in the AFC West considering how bad it is. So we're firing Todd Bowles. We are firing Hugh Jackson and we are letting Marvin Lewis go, although many Bengals fans would like to fire him. So we're firing him. If you want to fire Vance Joseph, I understand why. Watch out. Maybe Bill O'Brien could be on the hot seat. They're four and eight as we take this today. And some of that is because their quarterback went down. Some of that is because J.J. Watt went down. But you just wonder how excited the ownership is with Bill O'Brien after a season that's not going to be a playoff berth for the Houston Texans. He's probably safe, but you never know. Owners sometimes make very crazy decisions. So what we're going to do is get to the NFC tomorrow, and we'll let you know who's keeping their job and who's losing their job.